What's up guys, Heat King here, bringing you our Resident Evil 4 Remake discussion video. So, before I start of course, remember to like and subscribe, please. That will help, I hope it helps. I hope you like my content enough to do that. Do it, do it, okay? <laughs> so yeah, our Resident Evil 4 Remake. Uh, I thought I would do this uh, video to talk about something that is weighing on me heavily. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to upload this. Maybe by the time I do, something will be confirmed. Uh, but if not, uh, this video is going to be discussing Ada's Separate Ways campaign and the future releases of other Resident Evil games going forward. So, so far, this game is going to be coming out in 20 days and so far we have no confirmation whatsoever about whether or not we're going to be getting Separate Ways included in the game. Now, we already got confirmation that Mercenaries mode is going to be a post-launch DLC. So, that's that's going to be coming out as DLC. It's not going to be on the main game, which is really annoying. You know, you're paying all this money for a game and it's not going to be on the disc. See, I'm getting sick and tired of all this DLC crap. Like, it's, re it's really off-putting. But, um... That's confirmed as DLC, and it makes me wonder, does that mean Separate Ways is going to be DLC? See, early rumours before the before Resident Evil 4 Remake was even announced, I think, just before it, just before it was announced, there were early rumours that said that M2 was making Ada's Separate Ways campaign separately from the main game. See, uh, Division 1 is working on, Capcom Division 1 from RE2 Remake is working on RE4 Remake, and M2, who made the uh, RE3 Remake, are working on separate ways now that was the first game that they did and for the most part that was a pretty damn good game i think but it was a terrible remake that's my problem with that but as a game as a first game that that company that that studio did they did a fine decent job and it would make sense like for them to do something else originally apparently they were supposed to do the re4 remake but they got booted off the project uh, and rumors say they were they're doing separate ways so i think that would make a lot of sense uh which brings me to the fact that if that is true it most likely means it will be DLC, but it also potentially means that it's going to be a separate game release from Resident Evil 4, meaning that the Resident Evil game we will most likely get in 2024 is going to be Resident Evil 4 separate ways. It's going to be a standalone release. I can see them doing this. I know some people are going to be thinking like, there's no way they're going to take this short little campaign and... They're going to do that, okay? Think about it. RE3 Remake was a short campaign. It was a five-hour campaign, technically speaking. And Ada's Separate Ways is about the same length as that remake was. So, and as the fact that other game studios tend to do this as well. Infamous First Light, uh, Wolfenstein, Olden, uh, uh, you know, The Old Blood, or Uncharted, The Lost Legacy. This stuff happens. It's, it's sort of like a regular thing now where, like, you, you release the base game and then you release sort of like a short campaign for something else. So I can easily see them doing this, especially when we don't know what's coming out in 2024. Especially if Capcom is, you know, they want to release an RE game every year. So it, it, it feels like, and, and plus, it's a different. if a different studio is indeed making it, why would it be released alongside with RE, you know, RE4 Remake? It's, it's a, do you know what I mean? It's a bit weird, isn't it? Because like that, because then you're sort of like playing two different games then. Do you know what I mean? Like... So, I do see this being a separate release. Like, if we don't get anything on the 9th, which is, I feel like it's the last day, it's the last time for Capcom to confirm this is in or not, I can see that being a separate release and them hyping it up properly. Maybe even coming out at the end of this year, potentially. Or maybe as a Game, a game of the Year edition as well, like for next year. Like, I can see them doing that. But uh, that's what I think is going to happen. I think Separate Ways is going to be a separate release. It's going to be DLC or it's going to be like a physical separate release uh, by itself. That's going to be, that's going to revamp and pretty much remake the Separate Ways campaign in its own unique way. And maybe add more story there. Especially if Wesker is going to be a big part of that. We know Wesker is supposed to be in this. But uh, at best, he's probably going to be a mercenaries uh, character only like in the original. And he's going to get a bigger role like he did. In, in the original game for, for separate ways. That's what I see happening. And then that's that, obviously. So that's that. Which brings me up to uh, what we're going to get uh, in the following years. Um, 2025 is definitely going to be RE9. Because um, a mainline RE game has been coming out every four years. We had 7 in 2017. And then four years later, we had RE Village. So it only makes sense that every four years we get a new game. Uh, main title game and we already know that RE9 is in development you know if we're going with what the hacks told us Apocalypse apparently is going to be reworked into being RE9 uh, keep in mind RE8 into development like 
just like six months before RE7 was even released officially. So they've probably been hard at work on it for a while now since they went into development of RE8 around the same time properly. So it's definitely coming. Um, which then brings me to what the next set of games are going to be. Now, the same way that RE7 was inspired by the classic Resident Evil games and then RE8 was inspired by Resident Evil 4, you kind of have to wonder what's the inspiration for RE9 going to be. And I'm assuming it's going to be RE5's co-op mode. Like, that's the thing I feel like they're going to bring back. I feel like this is Capcom going into the action direction again, but maybe focused more on delivering a nice balance of action and horror. But I do think co-op is coming back, especially if you're going to remake RE5, because co-op is a big part of that game. But the problem with RE5 is, is that, you know, if you're going to remake it, you have to remake some other games before that first. So we need Cold Veronica. But also, since this is sort of like a new continuity with a remake continuity, it would kind of make sense to remake the original game as well. Which brings me to this then. Uh, what's the game going to be for 2026 then? It's going to be the 30th anniversary of Resident Evil. And honestly... I feel, I feel like, uh, at best, we most likely will get a remake for the first Resident Evil game in that year, maybe. Like, for the 30th anniversary. But how do you defy... Like, what do you change about a remake that's already been remade? Do you know what I mean? Because we already have a Resident Evil 1 remake, so what would you add to it? And honestly, if they are... If, they, if RE9 ends up being a co-op game, I feel like that's a big hint of what the next games are going to be. And that makes me think that we're going to get this new trilogy of remakes... Which is going to consist of RE1, Code Veronica and RE5. And all of those games is going to have one thing in common. Which is they're going to be co-op. Because if there's one thing you can make different from the original remake. It's it's not obviously just the using the RE engine. And making that sort of an over shoulder view experience as well for Resident Evil 1. It's also the fact that you can make that into a co-op game. And have you know, people playing as Jill and Chris at the same time. And actually given us that story, that ending where Chris, Jill, Barry and Rebecca, all four of them escape with Brad on the helicopter. So that's something they can potentially do. And I can see that potentially happening. And if that's the game for 2026, what's the game for 27 and 28? Obviously, people, you're going to be like, well, surely RE5, right? Well, no, I think RE5 remake will come out in its 20th anniversary in 2029. I could be wrong, obviously. None of this might happen. Um, this is just my own theory. And I feel like that's a thing they might do. We'll get RE1 Remake. Remake. In 2026 for its 30th anniversary. And we have this two year gap between that and RE5 Remake. And I feel like the game that could potentially come out in 2027 or 2028. Would be Cold Veronica. And maybe, fingers crossed, we could get that Operation Javier as well. Or maybe even a third-person version of uh, RE Engine-style version of the Fall of Umbrella with Chris and Jill as well. Uh, you know, going after Umbrella and, and doing that whole segment there. And playing as Wesker as well, perhaps. And then getting... Because I feel like those games need to be remade as well. Because a lot of people didn't play those. And those are very important story points to the series so i feel like they need to take those and just remake those into third person games maybe combine that with operation heavy and you sort of get this uh chris jill wesker slash leon krauser experience or maybe they even reimagine it a bit where you can have more characters because I'd, I'd 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 love the idea of seeing more characters teaming up with chris and jill to take down umbrella and having that be sort of like the final for that era and then obviously 2029 would be re5 remake so because again 20th anniversary i feel like that's what they're gonna do that's what they're gonna go into because uh again what's the point of remaking the first resident evil game if you're not gonna do something different with it and i feel like co-op is a big step i know some people are gonna be like well that not that a big misstep we want to focus more on the horror you can still focus on the horror and still have it be a co-op experience there are horror games out there that are co-op and they, they are they are done well are they done well it can be done. It can be done. Remember Halo and the Flood? Uh, the very first Resistance game? Uh, I'm pretty sure Fear, like the Fear games, some of them were caught, weren't they? So it's possible. I think you can pull it off if you focus on that aspect a lot more. Uh, but yeah, I feel like that might be a thing they'll do. I feel like RE9 will sort of be the final RE game in terms of wrapping up. Because there are rumours that it is going to be it is going to be the final numbered title that's going to wrap up a lot of the main character storylines. And if you do that... What are you going to do next, right? And if that is the game for 2025, what are you going to do for the next few years? I mean, you've got the 30th anniversary for RE1. You've got the 20th anniversary for RE5. And that was the highest selling RE game at one point. So, obviously, you want to you wanna do something with that. Especially with RE4 Remake, having Lewis in there and having this AI-controlled partner. 
helping you now. So I feel like that's testing the grounds for a co-op experience. And I feel like, like I said, if, if you're going to do an Ori 5 remake, you need to do Co-Veronica and especially Ori 1 first as well to sort of get those renderings, to sort of set up that rivalry between Chris and Wesker. And yeah, I can see them doing that. I can see them having that sort of be the era of uh, Ori co-op trilogy, like doing that. So... I'm just curious, I'm just curious overall, but yeah, this main video in a whole, as I did, was to talk about separate ways and where, what's happening with that, and I do feel like if we don't get anything with the 9th this month, it's most likely going to be a separate release, so yeah, but we'll see what happens, we'll see what happens, maybe Capcom is just keeping certain things a surprise still, but uh, I don't know, I don't know, I'm a bit worried about that. Anyway, guys, that's my video, I hope you liked it, uh, as always, remember I to hate like when that happens, and yeah, uh, just for that few seconds, like I said, like and subscribe. And I shall see you when I shall see you. Take care and bye.